oven or the skillet heating. I'm just going to have you pour in the oil. It's it's hot, so be careful. Okay. Pour it in. 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 It's going to spread it out a little bit. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Put that there. And then I'm going to have you put the chicken breast in the pan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are very strong. Just loosen it up a little bit. There's kind of stuck in there. Yeah. There we go. Is that a little bit of a bag? Of course, you probably know you can, you can cook the chicken in an electric skillet or on the stove or in the oven. We're just going to do just gonna do it like this so we get our all American meal going. You can tell it's yeah. hard to cook. I, I have one question. Do we, need, do we need to wash this meat here? That's a great question. That's right here. I'm going to get the cover on. And then you can have a seat and you can come back and test it when we're ready for the food to come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Yeah. We, you did not wash meat. Yeah. No. Um, when we cook meat to the proper temperature, we kill any germs or bacteria yeah. that might be on it. Yeah. So we do not wash any any meat at all. For the night, but I will take a mass with a pot and for the night. Such a hunger, I have answered it. He's a whole kitten, packed the hands of his answer. Take him. 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 Um, germs or bacteria can get in the sink, mm -hmm. and so it's better to just take the meat from the package, like Lal did, and cook it and cook it to the proper temperature. Yeah, the temperature is then of course, they want temperature. Man, what kind of thing? Because even if more than that, we can do it. 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 So how will we know when our chicken is done and safe and ready to eat? By using thermometer, I think. With thermometer? By using this thermometer? That's right. That's right. That's what we have in here for. So we're going to let it cook up a little bit. And then when it looks like it's getting done, we're going to check it with the meat thermometer. That's exactly right. Store it right. And we have to remember the proper place to put things when you get home from the grocery store. You, you, that's over there, you're packing your mommy, or you're going to go to a Oh, mommy, grocery store, you're going to go to a mommy. You're going to freeze the kid by the rack, you're going to be there, 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 you're going to Okay, as a group, you can just um, shout it out. So tell me, if you bought a frozen pizza, would you put it in the refrigerator, or the freezer, or the cupboard or counter? Where would you put it? The freezer. The freezer. Very good. That's the you have pizza. I'm so nervous. What are they doing? What are they doing? They are just carrying the bag. हम ले रहे प्रयोग करने बोली वक्त पकाने समय क्या मार रखने को बरना बाहर रखने की उतने फ्रिज़र में डाल रखने की उतने माथी फ्रिज़र में लेकर माथी को तो देर चीज़ होने ठोंग इस मार रखने वाला फ्रिज़र में रखने पर and milk. Refrigerator. Should it be in the door or inside? Inside. The inside. Good. Good. Have you guys tried string cheese? It comes like this. Do you like it? It's okay. It, it's, it's 
mozzarella cheese and that's the kind that we Sí, esto ahora por ejemplo cuando en size esto para que esté con la mozzarella. Y we usually put this kind of cheese on top of our pizza and it makes a great snack, especially if you're going on a road trip or something because it comes individually packaged. You're probably paying a little bit more money for that, yeah. but it makes a good snack because it's healthy and provides some calcium. Yeah, you have good. Say, it's good. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. Baby carrots? Yeah, the refrigerator. It's probably easiest to grab one of the chicken pieces with the tongs and then insert that. Lift it away from the heat and insert it into the chicken. Just be careful you don't get burnt. Okay? <laughs> you can even set it up down a little bit if you need to. Oh, yeah. yeah, those are clean. Okay, so far, what is easy, you know? you can some you you I'm not sure if they're all marked like hers, but she said to insert it about halfway and. I don't think all these are marked. I do find But she indicated about halfway that Mark was halfway on hers. Only for the back. Oh, it's smelling good. That's the mark right there. So what is the other? Arcomera. What is the other? So say about two okay. inches. You got help here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they're all marked, but go ahead this and check. This one has one. Okay. Yeah, 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 we got it. Yes, okay. Okay. Oh, it's here now. <laughs> <laughs> Even with my glasses, I don't always see it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And we're looking for it to be 165 degrees. And I know that because we follow the information on the Magnets that you got. So we're, we know we're looking for 165 degrees for the poultry or the chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It takes a while for them to dial up and to read to the, the temperature. Oh, 184. Okay, one eighty four. Then we're definitely safe with this one. Maybe you want to check another one. Why not? And if you just want to put it in about, so it's in about a third of the way. This one. We always want to make sure that we get some of the groups. Take <laughs> Well, okay, then we're good. The chicken is done. Okay. Um, some of our chicken can be contaminated with salmonella. Yeah. And, the, and so we know when we cook it to at least 165 degrees, we've killed the <coughs> salmonella that is in there, so the, um, they'll be safe to eat. What they have about our fries, right? Let's have a Okay. If they're, if they're hard, they're not. Mm -hmm. Bingo! <laughs> <laughs>